Conservation is a major tenant uh, for the purpose of zoos, and we like to not only just talk about it, but we like to actually show people and do things that uh, will help us conserve uh, natural resources. One of those is water, of course, because whatever we have here eventually goes into the streams and Lake Michigan, and we want to make sure it's as clean as possible because Lake Michigan is such a wonderful resource for us, we want to help protect it. I know that we can manage tens of thousands of gallons of water. We have uh, a, an excellent drainage system here. The woods around us is a good place to absorb a lot of the rain. Uh, we have three or four different uh, lakes or ponds. We're a great place for demonstrations. We have about 1.3 million visitors that go through each, each uh, year. And as they go through, they can notice the signage whether it's a rain garden, it's got pretty flowers, it attracts them, and then they see the sign next to them, it explains why we've got that. We have a couple of rooftop collection units that we can use and, and the gray water then put back into the ground. Uh, we do also have uh, a green roof. When you use a green roof, it also acts as an insulator. So uh, on a hot day like today, perhaps uh, you'd go over there and the temperature underneath that green roof is a lot cooler than the one without the green roof. And that then reduces our energy costs. Everybody needs to help protect water. Whether you're an individual, whether you're a homeowner, or whether you're a park like the, the zoo. It's a grizzly bear. For 20 years, we've been working on various projects here because they're important.